Hey, it's Jamie Moore here at the FAI HQ in Abbotsfield. It's been a busy couple of weeks. We've been here with the Ireland senior team, the women's national team, the 21s, and now with the managers of Dundalk and Derry, head of the EA Sports Cup final at the Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium this Saturday at 8 o'clock. So uh, Dundalk's Vinnie Pert and Declan Devine of Derry are with me. Lads, welcome back to Off the Ball. How are you? All good, thanks, Jimmy. All good. Vinny, all good? Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, I'm really happy. So we'll start with the home team. Declan, your opening thoughts on the weekend ahead and the final on Saturday? A brilliant occasion. Um, a very difficult game. Uh, packed Brandywell. So it has all the ingredients for a fantastic game. Um, I think Dundalk obviously are the benchmark in Irish football. We're only emerging. We're a new side that are, have been put together at, at record pace. So it's the games have been great so far this year, and we're under no illusions. It's going to be a very difficult game, but I think as a spectacle, it has as two teams that like to play right way. Vinny, yourself, your thoughts on Saturday? Yeah, I think I suppose what Declan has said is, is spot on. I think um, the two sort of management setups will want to play the game the right way. It will be chances created at both ends, and it's about ultimately who takes the most. And um, it's going to be on goals scored as opposed to mistakes. I think it will be both teams will have a right go off each other. Huge amount of respect between both teams because of the, the challenges. And no matter what happens, um, we're heading into a hostile venue in the sense of, of the Brandywell, but certainly not hostile in terms of uh, the respect that both teams will have for each other come the end of the game. Um, the job Declan has done and the staff has been, it's, it's been a credit to him. And it's great to see Derry back as a real contender again. And that's what we need in this league. Yeah, Vinny, your own team, you've beaten Pats, UCD and Bohemians on the way to this final and you've been able to use your squad, you're still in the FAI Cup, you're still clearly in the league with six games left to go and you had a European run as well, so you've been able to use lots of your squad and you're in the final again. Yeah, I think the, the challenge now is, is, is picking the right team for, for Saturday. Um, we, because of the, the amount of games we had, it is going to be difficult. We've, you know, we've a lot of players have played a huge amount of games. We're playing a game every three days and it's about picking the right ones and that's our challenge and that's where it is. We're in a good place as a squad though and this competition has been, has been good to us. We, but no doubt we've had difficult draws, you know, three primary division sides. You know, and um, we go we go away in the final. So if we're going to win it, it's going to be the hard way. But I suppose it, it will make it all the sweeter if we can do it on Saturday night. And um, so that's the challenge for us. And Declan, for your own team, Longford, Finn Harps, and Waterford, the teams you faced so far, and you won the competition last year. I know you weren't the manager at the time, but the club won the competition at the Brandywell, and you've had a really good run. FAI Cup is unfortunately gone, and you're not going to win the league although you're chasing Europe. So this is your your chance to win a trophy. Absolutely, and you know uh, we've had a difficult run on as well. You know it's it's not easy to get the cup finals in this league, and you know both sets of players deserve huge credit for 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 getting there. But ultimately, the game the game will be over in 90 or 120 minutes. But you know the result will stand for the course of history, and that's where we are ourselves. Like we want to try and win something, absolutely. But we're we're very we're very respectful that it's going to be extremely difficult. But you know, as we say, the full the full house at the Brandywell means everything to me. It means everything to the players, and you know, it just gives us that little bit of hope when we have our support behind us. But we've worked extremely hard this year. We're we're, we're under no illusions that we still have a lot of work to do. Um, we have a fantastic bunch of players that have bought on to everything that the backroom team have asked of them over the course of the season. And if we can get a result on Saturday night, it'll be fit and reward for the buy-in and, and, and the effort that our guys have put on over the course of a long year. But. We, we, we've drawn Dundalk, as you say, in the FAA Cup, and it was a fantastic game. It was a brilliant game, and Dundalk, Dundalk probably deserved to win the game. And, that, and that's, that's the magnitude of the task that we have again. We, we understand how difficult it's going to be, but as, as Vanny said as well, we go on it with a lot of respect, and we go on it knowing that both sets of players know each other really well, and on the night, whoever's the best will end up with a trophy above their head. Yeah, I'm going to head to Linfield and Glen Torren on Saturday afternoon, then to the Brandywell to the game, and Declan has mentioned it's sold out, and um, it'll be a fantastic place for your team to go and play a home game as such, and the place full with the new stadium, the pitch is fantastic as well, the Astro, what will it be like come kick-off 8 o'clock on Saturday with the place bouncing? It'll be brilliant, um, you know, over the course, of the, the, the course of the recent history of Derry City Football Club, when you get, when you big, get big occasions coming to Brandywell, it's as good a venue as there is anywhere in the country, um, they're very passionate fans, it's great also that Dundalk will have a lot of travelling support. So, as I say, it's, 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 two, it's two teams coming head to head. Dundalk are the only club in Dundalk. Derry is the only club in Derry. So, you know, it, it makes for a great game. But ultimately, it'll be about the players. It'll be about who performs on the night, who has the, the mental strength to cope with the, the moments in the game. And it's something that we should all embrace because 
you know, to get the cup finals, as I say, is extremely difficult, but only one team can lift it, and it's whoever's best on the night. Yeah, the cup over our shoulder here as well, be lifted by one of the teams just after 10 o'clock on Saturday at the Brandywell Vinny, and it's, it's a home game for Derry as such in a cup final. Your team are used to going to different places around the country and around Europe to play, but you're not playing in, in a neutral place or at home. Does that make much of a difference to you? No, I mean, obviously both teams would like to be at home and when the draw was made and we accept the draw was made and that's where it is. So, But it, to be fair, they're brand new well and being sold out is, is amazing and it's something that the players will enjoy. So it's not, it's not something we're going to fear in that sense. So um, the venue is, is a brilliant venue and I think the new stand and the facilities under are brilliant. But the old stand is still there and it's still that noise coming out of it. And uh, I remember it as a player, I remember, you know, over the years and I think... Uh, what a brilliant setting for a cup final and um, the city of Derry has had a lot of bad news of, of recently so um, I'm sure they'll, be, they'll enjoy the, the, the evening and enjoy the occasion and obviously for me I hope you know, we, we are successful but ultimately I hope it's a great tie, it's a great tie for Irish football and the city of Derry enjoy it and, and, and League of Ireland and Irish football enjoy the night and I think the combination of these two teams mean there's a real chance that will happen. I know we're talking on Wednesday, so the FAI Cup semi-final draw is not major, but the Dock are in that. They're 10 points clear in the league with six left, but this is your first chance to win a trophy this season, and it's your first chance, Finney, as the manager, to win a trophy as the manager. So what would it mean to everybody there to be the ones lifting that trophy behind me or behind us at quarter past 10 or so on Saturday night? Yeah, listen, I mean, from a personal point of view, I don't want to undersell, and I'm sure Declan would have the same thoughts. When you're part of a manager setup that wins trophies, you know, it's ultimately the manager gets the most credit for it and I accept that but I've been at this club for seven years now and we've had a lot of success so I don't see it as my first trophy um, I obviously know that people outside will see it that way and I respect that and there will be a certain amount of um, personal pride but I would say I've, I've won trophies at this club before Declan has won this as well as an assistant as before so I don't see it that way I see it as um, just another stepping stone of what we're trying to achieve as a club and me personally so I don't see it that way but there you go, that's just me. And Declan, for you after the FAI Cup back in, was it 2012? When 2012, you were the manager of Derry yeah. and you're, you're back at the club. It's been, you know, I remember speaking to you at the start of the year about bringing the players around the city of Derry and, and you know, the team are playing fantastic football in front of big crowds and they won the trophy last year. But for you, back at the club to win the trophy, help the team win the trophy as well, what would that feel like if you do it? Obviously, it'd be brilliant. And I, I say, I reiterate what Vinny's saying. I, I feel as if I've won this trophy before in the past as well, you know, and I would like... Our back, my backroom ta staff, they understand that if we won the trophy on, on Saturday night, it's not Declan Devine that's won the trophy, it's the football club. And you are only as good as your staff over the course of the year. And I've been very fortunate that my staff have been outstanding. We wouldn't have been able to have any type of success without the help of Kevin Derry, Marty McCann, Paddy McCourt, Declan McIntyre. We wouldn't have been able to be anything as a football club. But you know, ultimately, it'd be fantastic to win a trophy, of course, absolutely. But this will not be a defining game in our season and in terms of our six seasons being a success success or not. Our success will be based on the application of our players over the course of a 45 game season. It will be based on attendances, it will be based on the brand of football we played, it will be based on are we difficult to beat or are we easy to beat. So when we reflect over the course of the season, um, yes it will be brilliant to have the EA Sports Cup sitting on our cabinet, but more importantly when we reflect on the season and see the strides that the players have made, then I think that could be the biggest outlook of, of all that we need to look at. And that's just lastly to finish on the football, you both mentioned about you know, the style of football that you want your teams to play and they have played it this season, I'm sure they will on Saturday. As a manager, how important is it to you for your team to play what we would call a passing brand of passing football? Even last night, speaking to Mick McCarthy after the Bulgaria game, he was talking about the Bulgaria centre-backs and their number six getting the ball almost in the six-yard box with the new rules. Now, that's not the rules in this league just yet, but your teams do risk the ball, do try and play and do try and excite the fans. Of course, we want to entertain. It's, it's, a, it's a game where we understand our supporters are tight for money and we understand that every penny they spend to come to West Derry City Football Club is money hard-earned and we have to understand as players and staff that we've got to produce a product. But, you know, I, I'm a firm believer, yes, we want to play a great player on the football, but I'll take playing ugly on Saturday night and winning that trophy. But uh, every game's different. You treat it on its merits. I have no doubt there'll be a bit of a scrap in the game at times on Saturday night, but the one thing you'd be guaranteed is both teams have good technicians on there that can actually score great goals, can create great goals, but we've also got good defenders that can, can do their job properly. And Vinny, for you as well, a passing brand, but hopefully a passing brand to win. Yeah, well, ultimately it's about winning games of football and as Declan said, if it needs to be done ugly, it has to be done ugly and that's, that's the bottom line. We certainly set out, both teams will set out to, to do it the right way and create chances and, um, you know, if Derry score four on Saturday, then we have to try and score five and that's 
that's the best way to approach any game of football. Um, so, look, I think it, it, it's the makings of a really entertaining game because of the brand of football from both teams. So, I just hope it, it, it pans out that way. And as I said, there may be, it, it, there's a lot of uh, niceties here between the two of us, but I'm sure at different stages there'll be a little bit of flair moments, and that's what you want to see as well. And there will be that because it'll mean the word to both teams to pick up a trophy. But as Declan said, I won't define either club in terms of what they've done this year. Um, both of us have made huge strides and, and we're ready for it. Great stuff. That's Vinnie Purton, Declan Devine, headed to the EA Sports Go final this Saturday. It's at 8 o'clock. If you can't make it, it's live on Air Sport and chats with Greg Sloggett of Derry and Dan Cleary of Dundalk on offtheball.com and our YouTube channel on Friday. Best of luck to both teams.